very much. Brittany Griner did land at Kelly Field in San Antonio again just moments ago. Matt Doherty is live for us in San Antonio this morning on that tarmac. Matt, uh, show us uh, and tell us what's going on right now. Hi, good morning. Yes, I'm not going to be on camera right now. I just want you to take a look at that shot right there. You can see that Gulfstream 5 2000 that uh, we've been tracking for several hours now since it left Manchester, England yesterday. It is carrying Brittany Griner, who is a prisoner in Russia for almost 300 days. That is until yesterday. That's when the prisoner exchange happened in the United Arab Emirates, allowing for her to come home. She's been gone and there have been thousands of people petitioning for her release. That finally happened and pretty soon you're going to see her step off that plane, hopefully, and she will make her first steps back on American soil. And Matt, I don't know if you can hear me. Like you said, it's, it's such a dramatic development that we're watching unfold live right now. And the developments over the last 24 hours when at least the general public was led to believe negotiations weren't even going to happen again until the first of the year and, and all of a sudden we get this uh, major development right before the holidays. Yeah, it's a it's a wonderful holiday gift, a great Christmas gift for so many people. That's what they've been saying. You know, uh, it, it seems that some people were knowledgeable about this happening, but for most of us, for the vast majority of us, I mean, this caught us completely by surprise. It even caught Brittany Griner by surprise. A little bit later, we're going to show you some video that was captured by the Russian state media on one of their planes yesterday when uh, Griner was initially leaving uh, Russia to go to the United Arab Emirates. And you can hear a man in the background speaking with her, asking her how she's doing. She says she's happy. Uh, then he asks her if she knows where she's going. And she says no, and he tells her you're going home back to the U.S. Yeah, wonderful moment. We just saw the plane uh, door open up and saw the uh, first person look like a member of the crew walking out. We expect we may see Brittany Griner at any moment come down those steps. And Matt, we don't know exactly. We know she's going to be checked out at Walter Reed going forward. Obviously, uh, needs to be uh, evaluated after so many days away in captivity. We don't really know then what the next few days or weeks will look like for, for Brittany Griner. No, we don't. We haven't. Uh, we haven't been told that. Nobody and I've, I've spoken with the State Department earlier today. They, you know, of course, are keeping this very private. Um, you know, there's possibly some uh, HIPAA concerns related to some of this, but we know from what happened in the past with uh, former uh, veteran Marine Trevor Reed, who was released from a Russian prison. I guess it was about six months ago. Now he was immediately brought here uh, to. Uh, to Brook Army Medical Center where he stayed for at least two weeks. We know that where he was undergoing medical evaluations. They said that uh, he was also going to uh, get some psychological care as well as some other medical care. So uh, we do know that he stayed here for at least two weeks. Don't know if it was longer than that, um, but we have not been advised about how long Brittany Griner is expected uh, to, to be here. It could be a short uh, evaluation for all we know, or it could be more of an extended stay. We just don't know. Yeah, we know every case is going to be different. Correct me if I'm wrong, Matt. Obviously, Trevor Reed's stay was about a thousand days, about three times longer than than Brittany Griner's time in Russia. And of course, she's higher profile and has a career playing professional sports. It's going to be interesting to see the road back to that if, if that's the way if that's the way she goes. Absolutely, and you you'll be able to see in a little while. Um, some of the video that I'm talking about and I mean when she's on that Russian plane I mean, she's she's all smiles she's happy um, she's excited and this is actually before she knows you know for sure that she's coming back to the United States so she looks like she's healthy and in good spirits uh, as she's coming back the only noticeable difference that we saw is that she'd actually cut her hair um, not sure when that happened but if you see her walk off this plane she may be wearing a, a, a beanie or a hat or something you won't be able to see it right now but uh, you might be able to see in some of the video later on that, that she's uh, she's cut her hair. Yeah. There will be no mistaking Brittany Griner when we see her come off the plane uh, at her height, of course. Uh, no. And your, and your photojournalist, Sergio, on the extender trying to capture that exact moment, got a great shot of the door there. So we're just keeping out. We've actually seen more people uh, come up aboard the plane than anyone else uh, come off yet. Um, but obviously that moment of incredible joy when she learned about her release, we know there's, there's, there's bound to be tough uh, days ahead kind of decompressing and trying to process what's happened to her over these last 300 days. But there's uh, no mistaking the joy 
of the last 24 hours, not just for Brittany Griner, but also for all her uh, family and friends back here in the States. That's right. And I want to point out one other thing, too, is that, you know, we've tracked this plane as it left Manchester, England yesterday, and it did not stop. So what we know right now is that none of her family members, her wife, uh, for example, none of them are on that plane right now. So presumably she will be seeing them for the first time if they're actually here. We don't know that for a fact, but if they are here, she will be seeing them for the first time. I'm watching a few people uh, descend. I just said it will be unmistakable to see Brittany Griner come off the plane. That's not necessarily true. We, we, we may, we hope that we will uh, recognize uh, Brittany Griner when she comes off the plane. Three people just left right now. Don't believe uh, she was one of those. Uh, but like you said, there's so many uh, happy reunions waiting. That's her. Uh, That's her the right there. That's her right there. Do you see that? We do. Yeah. So Brittany Griner her. just uh, depart, her. get off the plane. And again, now heading on, uh, I would assume very quickly to Walter Reed, where she'll be uh, checked off. She looked... Uh, Pretty athletic and happy to bound down those steps and get off the plane. That's just a quick uh, two-second uh, examination that we saw right there, but looks to be uh, in, in uh, relatively good shape. We know she's in good spirits. So again, Brittany Griner on U.S. soil, off the plane, and now headed off to, uh, to evaluations and certainly many happy reunions. Uh, Matt Doherty, we're going to leave it there for right now. We appreciate you talking this uh, through that moment where she did get back on U.S. soil. Uh, and we'll be checking back with you uh, certainly plenty of times throughout the show. Once again, Brittany Griner has landed in San Antonio and is off the plane. Uh, this happened within the last 15, 20 minutes or so. Many here.